It's 1973, and Jim and Alice, classmates from their high school days, are nearing the end of their four years at college in Boston. That does it. The last exam of my college life. How about you, Alice? My last one's tomorrow. I can hardly wait to get it over with, but at the same time, I feel a bit sad. I know what you mean. I had a wonderful time in college, and I feel a bit lonely, knowing that graduation is just around the corner. Exactly. I studied hard and did my best in the judo club, so I don't have any regrets. I guess I just don't want my college life to end so suddenly. I wasn't the scholar you were, but I gave my all to the mountains on weekends and during vacations, hiking and rock climbing from April until October, and skiing the rest of the time. College life was great. Well, Jim, you can still go to the mountains even after starting to work. You got a job at a bank, didn't you? Oh, didn't I tell you? I decided not to take the job. I didn't know that. Why not? I want to travel, see the world, and spend some time thinking about my place in it. I plan to enter the job market again next year. I envy you. Actually... I would have liked to continue practising judo full-time. My coach says I have talent, but I have to work to pay back the money I borrowed to go to college. I guess it will just be part-time judo for me after busy days on Wall Street. By the way, where are you going to go? From June until September, I want to hike around the Rocky Mountains. I've never been west before. And then? And then the big adventure, travelling around Asia, starting with Japan. You remember Shota from our high school days, don't you? Of course! But I haven't heard from him since high school graduation. We've been keeping in touch. He's still in a college in Tokyo, and he invited me to visit. Sounds great! Give him my regards. I will. More than 30 years have passed. It's high school class reunion day, and now it's Shota's turn to tell his former high school classmates what he's been doing all these years. This is the first class reunion I've attended. As I look around, I see less hair and more kilograms than I remember, but the same friendly smiles. After graduating from high school here in the United States, I went back to Japan for college. I was lucky enough to get into my first choice school. I was so tired of studying that I thought I'd never want to look at another book again. The biggest event of my college days was joining the cheering club. The good friends I made there inspired me to rethink my life, and I surprised even myself when I started studying again. After graduating, I wanted to put to use the interpersonal skills and good health I got in my club, and so I became a diplomat. And now I'm back in the United States, working at the United Nations in New York. I'm happy for the opportunities I had to work all around the world. Jim and Alice couldn't be here today, but they send their best regards. After graduating from college, Jim started out on a world tour, but he only got as far as Japan. While visiting me, he fell in love with Japan, especially the mountains. He studied Japanese, went to graduate school in Tokyo, and now teaches forest ecology at a Japanese university. He's even the faculty advisor to the skiing club. Alice got a job on Wall Street, but quit her company in order to realize her potential for becoming a judo champion. As you know, she represented the United States in a number of international judo tournaments. She's now in Japan at a two-month training camp with her judo students from the college in California, where she teaches physical education. Isn't it amazing how life works out?